Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Hughes with this WBZ News Update. The man who police say escaped custody in Marlboro over the weekend has been caught. He's now ordered held without bail. Isaac Rivera is facing 23 charges. Police arrested him Saturday after they say he attacked his mother. They took Rivera to the hospital, and that's where police say he escaped. Hours later, police in Milford arrested Rivera. He's due back in court on Friday. A fire tore through a North Attleboro home, breaking out this morning around 1030 on Moran Street. North Attleboro firefighters had to call in backup to help them put out the flames. The good news here is that no one was home at the time. Unfortunately, though, the home is a total loss. And a longtime rider will now get the chance to help improve the MBTA. Mary Skelton Roberts is joining the T's Board of Directors. Now, she has an impressive resume, but her real qualification is that she is a consistent rider. She's on the orange line and takes the 39 bus. This is the first time the city of Boston gets to appoint a member of the board. Well, boy, it has been a slog, but things are going to change eventually, right? Let's get to the forecast now with Eric Fisher. Eric? We'll get a little better over the next few days. We've had plenty of rain and clouds over the last few. Some drier air will slowly be pushing in from the north overnight, but still some showers, some drizzle, kind of damp and cool outside. We'll mostly be in the 50s tomorrow morning as we kick off Tuesday. And then as the day goes on, that drier air will just gradually be taking hold. Some morning clouds and mist are likely. Some increasing amounts of sunshine midday into the afternoon. Farther north you are, the brighter the day, the farther south you are, the more those clouds are going to hold on. So the southeastern corner of the state may have the grayest conditions, just low 60s. So a cool autumnal day. Our sunniest days of the week, Wednesday and Thursday. Those look to be the picks well into the 60s, some bright sun, drier weather, umbrellas, staying inside and not in use on the streets. Lisa. All right, Eric, thank you. Thanks for being with us. It's been a WBZ News Update. Have a great night.